sarcoma, comma, the two most often mentioned, were infectious and genetic. In order to test these theories, many investigators searched for a familial incidence of Kaposi's sarcoma. A very small number of cases with a familial distribution of Kaposi's sarcoma were reported before the AIDS era, but in none of these were sexual or mother-child relationships involved. Thus, before AIDS, there was no evidence to suggest that 1. Kaposi's sarcoma, at least in heterosexuals, is sexually transmitted. 2. The cause of Kaposi's sarcoma is an infectious agent. Even today, with the exception of CMV and HIV, comma, which are still considered by some as major etiological factors, comma, all the other factors considered possibly pathogenic are non-infectious. Non-infectious etiology. We hypothesize that in homosexual AIDS patients, Kaposi's sarcoma is caused by prolonged and repeated exposure to semen, comma, nitrites are both agents which, comma, under normal circumstances, comma, in non-AIDS patients are either absent or largely excluded from contact with endothelial targets in the vascular or lymphatic system. Both these agents are potent oxidizing agents in biological systems, and indeed oxidation is essential for many of their biological properties and effects. For example, comma sperm maturation and thus fertilization is a process which requires the oxidation of sperm nuclear sulfhydryl groups to disulfides. All cells exhibit a thiol cycle, and this cycle is a principal determinant of many cellular functions including metodic rate. Thus nitrites and sperm, like all carcinogens and mitogens, comma, by their oxidative nature, may induce perturbation of the thiol cycle, comma, and this effect may underlie the ample epidemiological evidence that semen and nitrites are alone the two factors highly correlated with the appearance of Kaposi's sarcoma in homosexuals. Nitrites Nitrites have as a major property a prominent effect on vasculature, Although the use of nitrites poppers is highly correlated with the appearance of Kaposi's sarcoma in homosexuals, their causative role has been dismissed because of the belief that it is impossible to disentangle their use from sexual practices, and also because they do not explain the occurrence of Kaposi's sarcoma in children and elderly people with parenterally transmitted H. IV and in one-tenth of AIDS patients in Africa, where nitrites cannot account for the pattern of occurrence of Kaposi's sarcoma. The only reason for preferring the explanation that an undefined infectious factor relating to sexual behavior appears to be the cause and not the alternative comma appears to be a predisposition to favor a sexually transmitted infection. In fact, in homosexuals, evidence exists that the variable most strongly associated with Kaposi's sarcoma is the consumption of more than four hits of nitrites per night of use. The fact that the effects of nitrites and sexual practices are difficult to disentangle does not negate the possibility that nitrites acting alone or in combination with another highly correlated variable may have a direct causal role. While it may be true that Africans do not use nitrites, comma, it is also true that in Africans Kaposi's sarcoma has existed independently of AIDS probably for centuries and, although not disproven, comma, an infectious origin of Kaposi's sarcoma in Africa has been discounted as far back as 1962. The common diagnosis of Kaposi's sarcoma in African patients post-1983 is AIDS, whilst legal is a semantic convenience with little, if any, scientific rationale, comma, especially in relation to a putative common pathogen. Kaposi's sarcoma in children. Burrell states that, comma, in the 13 AIDS children with Kaposi's sarcoma, comma, the cases of Kaposi's sarcoma were atypical and admits that diagnostic biases might exist. Also, comma, because all children were from Florida where nitrite abuse is most prevalent and all but one were offspring of women born in Haiti, comma, the possibility cannot be excluded that. 1. Some of these children may not have developed Kaposi's sarcoma. 2. Children of Haitian women, comma, most of whom are descendants of African slaves, may, like African children, have an appreciable incidence of Kaposi's sarcoma that has existed independently for many decades. The mothers of these children may have used nitrites. 
Kaposi sarcoma in recipients of blood transfusion. A total of 73 cases of transfusion-associated Kaposi sarcoma have been reported by the CDC up to March 31, ST, 1989. In these patients, not one of their sexual partners had Kaposi sarcoma. According to the CDC definition which accepts HIV as the cause of AIDS, Kaposi's sarcoma occurring in anyone under the age of 60 years, even when laboratory evidence regarding HIV infection was either not obtained or was inconclusive, indicates AIDS. Individuals with Kaposi's sarcoma who are over the age of 60 and who have a positive antibody test are also considered AIDS patients. Kaposi's sarcoma which develops in persons who received high doses or long-term systemic corticosteroid or other immunosuppressive slash cytotoxic therapy, but which were discontinued three months before the appearance of the disease also indicates AIDS. In the United States, comma, where approximately 3, 8 million people are transfused annually, comma, approximately 20% receive blood for treatment of malignant neoplasia. Although exact data are unavailable, it is certain that many of these patients will have received varying combinations of immunosuppressive therapy, comma, radiation and chemotherapy, comma, all agents known to be associated with the appearance of Kaposi's sarcoma. It is reasonable to question whether the occurrence of 73 cases of transfusion-associated Kaposi's sarcoma over a period of eight years, an average of nine cases per year, represents a phenomenon peculiar either to the specific practice of blood transfusion or to the AIDS era. In the United States, the annual incidence of Kaposi's sarcoma in the general population pre-AIDS is unknown but is estimated to be 0.2-0.6 cases per million. There are no data available on the incidence of Kaposi's sarcoma in transfusion recipients pre-AIDS, but these persons, 50% of whom die within one year of transfusion, are likely to have a higher incidence than the general population. An incidence of nine cases in nearly four million transfused therefore may not be significantly higher than expected, since many of the post-1981 transfused group would be expected to be under the age of 60 years, and therefore fulfill the CDC AIDS definition, and or suffering from malignancy. There has also been a well-documented problem in establishing a definite diagnosis of Kaposi's sarcoma in AIDS patients, a factor which relates both to diagnosis diagnostic bias and histopathological interpretation. In the absence of data to prove the contrary, the low incidence of Kaposi's sarcoma documented by Burrell et al. may simply reflect the presence, comma, in this population, comma, of other causes of Kaposi's sarcoma which have previously operated and continue to operate independently of AIDS-related factors. Also in the United States there are 2.5 million exclusively homosexual males, and perhaps another 2.5 to 7.5 million who may have the occasional homosexual liaison. There are also at least 1.1 million IV drug users, 11% of whom use nitrites. Furthermore, there are estimates that 1% of American students between the ages of 12 to 17 years of age use nitrites at least 10 times per month. The CDC publicly accepts that this is likely to be an underestimate as not every person questioned would feel comfortable admitting to drug abuse or homosexuality. We may therefore argue that since Kaposi's sarcoma even post-AIDS is so rarely reported in the non-homosexual non-drug abuser population that some, if not all, of the blood transfusion associated Kaposi's sarcoma cases may be related to one of the above mentioned mechanisms which include chemotherapeutic agents, comma radiation, comma semen and nitride exposure that is comma to a cause which is not a sexually transmitted infectious agent. Even if it is true that not a single African comma child or trans 